Hello everyone and welcome to Championship Battle My Team Kumo for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Last two races are the title decider. Um, last two races I have been in a battle with originally Verstappen and now it's gone on to the two Ferraris. So I head to Brazil, uh, sprint race. I started fourth. It's raining all weekend, so it's going to be very, very tricky because I have a dry rubber setup on the car. Um, if you're on any of the F1 videos I have done, the link for it in the description bar down below. So do go check that out. returns to Interlagos once again with a stage set for what promises to be another classic Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012 and just four years later Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. Interlagos, always a very special race here in Brazil. It's a 2.7 mile circuit with nine left turns and six right turns for a total of 15 corners. It's a wet one today as well so grip and visibility will be at a premium. So, to keep the championship alive, I have to win this race. Five lights, out and away we go. And again, bit of a slow start, twitching on the rear. Both McLaren's Red Bulls are passed, so we're going to have to dive bomb both Red Bulls. It just about gets ahead of them. We're going to turn right into turn two, running a bit wide. Slight clicking with Perez, and honestly, the grip I have got is got a second to on, I had a bit of a lift there. A little rustle coming up behind me, fast breaking for turn four, just about right into the apex. The colour of the championship leader is just ahead. So we're standing quite a bit of a way down. The break for this turn here, just about hits the curb. Perfect line, and are we gonna die? We're gonna die from Leclerc. We get the job done, and we are now up into fourth place. And Norris and Sainz and looks like Hamilton is leading the race for the dive bomb. Norris now, oh, that was from so far back. Ridiculous move. Up now into third place. The brake hit, can we get this right? Oh, just about. I'm alright on track to an exit, but it's still wrecked it to the run down to turn one where I struggle so much. I've got Land oh my god, Lando's on the inside. I've got Leclerc as well. Oh, I've been eaten up again. I'm gonna have to dive bomb them both. Dive bomb, dive bomb. Oh, it's never making that corner. I'm about to go across the track, so I am gonna get a warning for corner cutting. So, go through now, and we're coming now towards the end of what three. Oh, what's happened? I've just been hit by Norris. Front wing's gone. Leclerc's gone through. Wait, where's Russell? Oh, uh, yellow flag. Russell for you. Virtual safety car. And that. Okay, they're out of this race. What's because right, you're not hitting me? Oh, it's not a little delta down. Yeah, all right, Martha. Okay, Cheers, thanks. It's gone from VSC to, to a, a full safety, safety car. car. That's changed it completely. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. I don't know why I want to change. Am I going to keep? Yeah, going to keep going. So we're going to stay out. It's not worth the risk because then I'll be right down the back of the pack. So it really is a case of staying behind Leclerc, catching up to the safety car, which as you can see from the yellow dot is at the end of the first sector. So I'll just take a breath and catch up to where we are. I'm in fourth place. Leclerc is now third because of Norris hit, taking me into the wall and start finish straight. As the, it stands, I, if I've got the numbers right. Okay, slow down. Slow Leclerc is going to be leading the championship. Sainz is going to be fast, second. I'll be pace. third. So I won't have gone up or down. I would have stayed in the same position. I would have gained a few points on them, but not much. Just means now that this race, this race is, I have to win. I've got to win this race, and I'm just praying for the 
the most unbelievable set of circumstances. So it's like a catch in a safety car. Really taking an ace to catch this safety car. Really is. Well, that's been a hectic four laps. And considering I've got to drop, you can see the damage on the front wing. That is orange. Stuck right behind Leclerc now. I am itching to get going. Hamilton leading from Sainz to Leclerc. See, with Ferrari, what did he do? Do they prioritise Sainz on Leclerc in the championship? Because if he gets to the last race, and if I'm still in the show, it's going to be absolute chaotic. Having to go into Limo to save fuel. And the safety car's safety car in, in this lap. This safety car lap. in this lap. Let's make sure there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. You see, I am itching to get going. Itching to get going. This is going to be so, so interesting. Like, I'm prepared to go racing now. I can't overtake the clear yet. Slight lift of throttle. Now we've got, got slight screen freeze. The clear's got sight. Gonna dive on Hamilton to save to go start the ages. And we've got into the lead. We've got to where we need to be. Sight's it's now second, Hamilton's third. And now we're cutting to the end of lap five. And apparently Sight has had a moment. You can see. Drop back to about six tenths of a second. So I've got a break, 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 break. Oh my lord, I'm never making that corner in a million years. I am going to get a warning. Which means I can't do any more walk. We need to slow down before hitting the corners. We don't want to get a penalty. Yeah, do not want to be doing that. So like Hamilton in second. He's not. Oh my lord. I've got the worst setup on this car for this Grand Prix. Like, literally nothing is going to plan here. I mean, how I'm in the lead, I don't know. And we're on lap six. Six of the Grand Prix. I don't know how I'm leading this. I've got a broken front wing, and I just know I'm going to have to do the biggest, biggest amount of defensive driving I've ever done on this game. Oh my God, Brooks so late for that corner. Hamilton behind me. So come towards the end of lap six. Climbing up the hill. Hamilton's keeping me within reach really about it's oh we're going down to three tenths of a second now. I'm gonna get eaten up here. Ooh, and we're now cutting to the end and there's a yellow flag. Now why is yellow? Is that Hamilton? Hamilton's going slowly. Oh I don't believe it. Hamilton's out. Is he? Don't say Hamilton's out. Oh, he is. Oh, and that's just handy advances back to Ferrari. On lap seven, it's Sainz Leclerc, Perez, Norris, and myself the top five. I've got Sainz all over the time going out, having to break so early. Get the car to him. Sainz is down on the inside, having to give him room. I don't want another safety car, I really don't, because I'm not going to be able to deal with another safety car. Still defending. The car's in the right place, so Ferrari can't attack. We're now cutting to the end of lap 13. It's like audio issue there, don't know what's going on. Energy stores depleting, oh. reducing our overall capacity. Science had to go there, and he's just falling back a bit. And now, Norris is up. To, oh no, Norris. Norris was up into second place. So we've got four laps to go. And it's going to be the most 
biggest amount of defensive driving ever. Look like they're shifting. We're predicting at least 20 minutes of heavy rainfall. Heavy rain. Cheers, Mark. That's just what I want to know. Perfect. Racing slightly early. Norris is going to have a look up the inside. It's not quite close enough. Braking nice and early, getting the car turned in, lifting off on the power. Lifting off, feathering the throttle. All this is going to be now is whether I can keep ahead of the likes of Norris, Perez, Leclerc and Sachs. So Ferrari have got to fourth and fifth. That might work in my favour at the end of the race. If it stays like this, the championship's going down to the last race. Oh, Norris is right behind me now. I'm going to have to place the car right in the middle. And keep it to the inside, so he can't take that line. I'm in the middle, so he can't attack. And Perez is now starting to attack Norris. Oh... This is absolute sweaty palm time. And I'm really struggling because of the damage to the front wing, ironically caused by Norris, which brought out the safety car, which in turn has enabled me to be leading this race. So, in a way, I've got Norris to thank for this situation. As we're now going up the hill, braking just about right, but a bit late to say, but Norris is trying to come back at me. I mean, Norris decides I've surely got to be going off. We've got three laps to go. Look at the train behind me. So the red arrow's me. Look at the train. This is just telling you how difficult I'm finding these conditions because of the setup I've got. I'm having to lift off the young cow because I just haven't got the downforce. We're now coming towards the end of lap 16. It's been absolutely so stressful. Straight covering the inside. So Norris is having to go, trying to go the long way around. He's not going to make it. Break nice and early. Lift off. Get the car turned in. Hit the apex on the exit of the centre S. Go through turn three. Down the straight. We're now covering the middle, so Norris is having again to go to the outside, placing the car perfect, brake nice and early, just about kissing the apex. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep this for the rest of the race, because this is, oh, I've gone too deep, Norris has surely got me. No, he hasn't. It's like Norris isn't confident enough to go up the inside, either that or he's got a bit of damage or his tyres are wearing out. Rears were spinning, you could just hear it there. Perfect line. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, well, it's pretty shame I can only use it for standard. Oh, oh you could just hear it. the wheel starting to spin, and Norris is falling back to about. Well, it was six cents. It's so much closer because I'm struggling in this last sector. And Norris is going to try to go around the outside. Has he got it? Not quite. Break early. Get turned in. We are on the penultimate lap of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Because about five races ago, I was like literally two points behind for Stafford. And now I'm battling both Ferraris for the championship. Norris is trying to go up the inside. Is he there? Not quite. The pressure I'm under in this moment is ridiculous. That's probably the best line I've done for those two corners in the last five laps. Breaking just about where I need to. Feathering the throttle. Cruising through the corners because it's, re it's really all about getting the traction out of them. Coming through Young Cow. I've got so much of my car on the curb through Young Cow because I dare lift off. The 
across the fastest lap. The standings, oh, second right. in the championship. Second? I've got too far with fourth and fifth, that can't be right. Go across the line for the final lap of the Brazilian Grand Prix. We break just about it. Because I'm really struggling to slow this car down. No idea how difficult this is. Now to the final straight. Copy. I'm telling the engineer to be quiet for this last lap because I need so much concentration. I missed the braking point. But no, it's just too clear about. Look at my tyres. My tyres are starting to go dark yellow to orange. But there's so much defending. I've missed the braking point. Honestly, if I end up somehow winning this race, it'll be because of the safety car and the restart. That is where the race was won if I get through these last couple of corners. Break just about early enough. Don't get the apex done. Looks like Norris is scrimming. I think he's, he's burnt his tyres out because he's been pushing me for so long. He is. He's about eight tenths behind. We're going to go into this last corner. I don't think... No, Norris is over a second behind. He's not going to catch me. And we're going to come through... Now, it's been an unbelievable comeback drive. The safety car won it. We're going to cross the line, win the Brazilian Grand Prix. Defensive masterclass. I had to win the last three, four races to have a shot. And if the maths is right, I get driving of the day, and quite rightly so. We're going to go to Abu Dhabi in a three-way fight with both Ferrari drivers. Yes, Crofty, it was the most difficult race I've done. You've got to think five races ago, I was two points behind Verstappen, and I selected him as my rival. I mean, I didn't see Ferrari coming back into the field. I really didn't. I mean, at one point, both Mercedes were in with a shout. And they've drifted away, just tells you, it's time to ebb and flow. It's an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy. And this is my new celebration. To out there today. <laughs> oh, I love that celebration. Oh. That's the most stressful win I think I've ever had. Champagne time with Norris and Perez on the podium. Didn't see that, and ironically, per it's Norris's collision with me that caused the safety car that caused me to have the most electric restart and for me to be leading. So let's see what effect 30 points this weekend because of the sprint. Lewis takes over the lead of Ooh, the drivers I've taken the lead. Well, I didn't see that. Who would you pick as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Lewis. So from two points so behind for Stappen, about five races ago, so to being about 19 points today. behind, three races ago, so Ferrari Constructors' Championship. Ferrari Constructors' Championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again. Look at the championship. Six points clear Leclerc, 15 and ahead of Sainz. It's between me and the two Ferrari drivers for the World Championship. It's a final race showdown in Abu Dhabi. Are we going to get controversy like 2021? Or is it going to be just plain and simple? Whatever happens, it's going to be a monumental race. I have been Cosmic Game 907. Thank you for watching and goodbye.